The gun control debate divisive as ever, but both sides agree the problem of mental illness and its link to gun violence needs to be addressed. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez digging into how legislators will do that, and Lance lawmakers on both sides admit it's going to be a challenge. A challenge, Teresa, because we're talking about a Second Amendment right. Already one draft of a bill dealing with that issue here at the Capitol has been pulled to be rewritten. What I'm trying to do is uh, make sure that we can um, increase the safety of our community by keeping uh, firearms away from dangerous people. Recent tragedies all with one thing in common, dangerous people with a history of mental illness. James Holmes, linked to the Aurora Theater Massacre. Jared Lofter, responsible for trying to kill Congresswoman Gabby Giffords in a mass murder in Tucson. Adam Lanza, the killer in Newtown. The unresolved questions are who makes a determination that someone is dangerous and who makes the decision that they can't have a gun? Is it the mental health professionals? The courts. So trying to craft legislation around those issues is a challenge. A challenge made more daunting with the inclusion of substance abuse in the equation. House Minority Leader Mark Waller says an earlier draft of the bill put the onus on mental health professionals to decide whether someone should be able to maintain their Second Amendment right to have a firearm or whether it should be taken away. The mental health professionals were very uncomfortable being put in that situation and creating liability issues. But Waller says the mental health issue is one area that needs to be looked at. He says McCann has reached out to Republicans to get their input. She's talking about doing is creating some sort of task force to look at this issue, and that may be the direction we need to go to come up with some long-term sustainable solutions. Representative McCann has been working on this bill for months now and has involved the mental health community. I asked her when she might reintroduce her rewritten bill or introduce that bill. She simply said soon. She doesn't have much time, though, because the legislative session ends May 8th. Live at the state capitol, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.